Hi, this is David Odell with Odell Complete Concrete. This is the final part of a multi-part series. This is my son's job and you'll see him throughout the video. But this is a really good DIY patio cover. So basically they just made a, a square area where the patio cover is going to set. It's not really square off of the forms because this is a pie shaped lot. So they just have to, the structure has to be square. That's the important thing in this, in this particular situation. And they just ran the stakes on past the holes so they wouldn't get in the way of digging. And then as far as their elevation goes, um, that's coming up pretty soon. But I had some uh, screed pins set and they just went off of those. So they're going to set the post before we actually pour the patio area. They're going to dig down about 18 inches. Well, I have 18 by 18 on these post holes. The patio place that they got everything from was DIY Patios Direct. And they've got a nice website too. Like once you enter the measurements in it, it'll show you the actual 3D image of it. And then you can change the design and colors and get a feel for what it, it's really going to look like before you even make the order. There's the conduit. They ran a half inch conduit underneath that existing outlet, which was already a GFI. So they came off of that and that's going to support um, the two ceiling fans and, uh, and the lights. So Timmy's here right now and I'm pouring the first pour of this job which was a 10 yard on the other side of the house and plus this little little piece on the right here you can see at the end but he's setting the post with my uh, cleanup load I had to get a yard cleanup so it was short so we had enough to set all the posts so that came in real handy watch the string lines don't push them out I need you to say straight up and down. So you need to be like this. All right? Yeah. Watch both your lines. You okay. want this corner to hit right in the corner, okay? All right. But not like touch it, like moving them. And then here, put this on each side and check, make sure you're plumb. Remember, you look at this one right here, okay? But it don't look plumb. Damn, it's really Yeah, throw it in. All right, so we're just gonna plumb those posts up and they are a little long at this point. So they'll cut them off once they decide what height they wanna um, set the roof at. These, uh, for some reason, they got the wrong order on the length of these posts. And I think these were 12 footers. And they're really only supposed to be like 8 or 10. So they got a lot of options. I mean, these are high enough right now. You, you put a car lift under there. Okay, so what me and Jimmy just did right now is we got established levels height. This is the concrete height. We uh, leveled that all the way across all the posts with our laser level. Uh, and then we just marked it around with our square just so that we can make sure that we're level. And uh, we, if we measure off any of these anyway, we'll know where the height is for perfect levels. <clears throat> Actually, my brother and dad here on the job right now too. They're getting the rebar all done and set up because they're gonna be pouring this job out tomorrow. You guys will see the pour probably before this. Uh, guys, I've already probably seen the pour. But what me and Jimmy are doing right now, we're gonna get these posts cut into the right slope. So I got this big fan beam here. And it's the perfect thing to use for putting your slope on. <clears throat> All right, let's bring your, oh, you know what, Jimmy, hold on. We gotta measure over here real quick. I need a measure tape. Oh, you didn't bring the square around on this one. Oh well. Sorry. Okay, I need you to mark 
Eight feet, eight inches. Eight feet, eight inches, okay? Give me a second. Or, or actually eight feet, six inches. Okay. You got it? Okay. So that's eight feet, six inches? Eight feet, six, yeah. Okay, give me uh, the pencil. We're gonna go over to this one now. Just set that right there. <coughs> Hold your stuff on that mark, or actually, right on this mark. I'm gonna mark it this time. So this one's gotta be a little bit higher. We gotta go to eight feet, eight inches, so that we have slope to that side of the patio cover, and eventually it's gonna drain to that uh, planter bed. Got her. All right, go to that side now. Grab that, wait, we need that level. Wait, 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 wait. Get it, get it to your height. Uh, no. Top, 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 yeah. What does it look like? 2%. Two 2%? Two yep. Beautiful. So because this is a solid top patio cover and there's going to be a gutter on one side, they just put slope on the roof so that it'll hit the uh, gutter and then come down the downspout, which will inevitably go into the planter. This is the actual structural, structural part of the actual patio cover, the post. There's actually a sleeve that's going to slide over the top of these, a decorative sleeve. And that's where you're going to get your colors. Like whatever color you choose, all the sleeves um, slide over the um, structural part of the steel. So we have to go all the way flush to the top of this, okay, Tyler? You got, you got your, you're good over there? Yeah. This ladder is just fucking yeah. tripping up. They're all the ladder. You sure it's not going to fall? Yeah, positive. It's just leaning. Just okay, leaning. now. You gotta go, you gotta line your holes up, Jimmy. Right there. Now up, right there. Don't move, guys. Alright, hurry. Hurry, motherfucker, you get it in the mess. You know what? Fuck, You don't have the right attachment. I know, I need a, I need a metal bit. This thing dude. I'm sorry, hold on. Just give me a second. Come on, man. Can you yeah. see those up? I went in a lot. Yeah, so me and Tyler were just happened to be there because we we're prepping for the next pour. And uh, so we helped out Timmy getting those posts up. Luckily, we were there because it's really it's a four man operation getting those posts up. But I was thinking about a different way to be able to hold those, um, those beams or headers across there. Maybe like some C clamps or ratcheting straps. You know, something like that will just temporarily hold it while you drill it. That's probably what I would do um, next time. Figure a way out to hold those up there without having to have people on both ends. Now here's the uh, wiring. They're going to pull through the um, center of the column. And they just use a little more insulation on the wires and go through there. Oh, can you get the camera all set up, Jimmy, on us?
What we need to do is fish this down right now. Yeah. Splice it right here so we have power going up. Straighten out this thing right here. Just keep going down. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah. Easy money. You can cut it right here. We can get rid of the rest. Okay guys, I just wanted to go over really quick what we got done or what we are where we at on the project right now. So far we just got all of our electrical hooked up. Just wanted to make sure everything was work, working properly, so we just checked everything, tested everything. Everything is good there. What we did next was we were finding the spacing for our fans and lights. So we're gonna be doing two sets of fans. So what I did was I measured out the whole distance of the patio cover which was 20 feet, six inches. After that, I found the middle, which is 10 feet, three inches. Once I figured that out, I cut that in half, which would be five feet, one inch and a half. Now, I got perfectly spaced fans over there and over there. Now, what I did to find the recessed lights is I just went down the straight in the middle and then I divided it evenly off of the fans. So, I went to the fan found the fan let me show you really quick right up there so this is where my fan landed right here this is five feet one inch and a half and right over here go another you know five feet one inch and a half you get uh recessed lights right down the middle right after that all i had to do was find the distance between the fan and the end and i got uh get the middle right there once i get the middle right there I have evenly spaced recessed lights and the same uh, will be for that and for the recessed lights. So that's kind of like how we got all the spacing all set up. Now that the spacing set up, you can actually even see our wiring running up the post. One's going to be on a dimmer switch, one's going to be on a single switch. So we can actually start getting to work now, I'm getting these pans in and running some electrical. So the wiring on the top will be in a conduit and then that'll set in the bottom of the uh, roof panels. And then on top, once they get it all wired up, they'll lay the top roofing over that and everything will be covered. So this fan's all done. I did want to just kind of show you guys some close-ups of how we're doing the recessed lights, how to install them. We pretty much are running the wire through the header beam. You poke it out through the header beam, pop it up top into a junction box. Let me show you. There it is. There's one more down there where uh, it gets fed the power. And then here's our light. This is going to be the light right here for the junction box, or the, where the junction box is for the light. And then uh, 
all the wires are gonna be stuffed up into it and then we're just gonna put a cap on it. These LED come with this uh, metal mounting bracket and we're using self-tapper screws to go through the aluminum and we leave them a little out so that I'll show you right here these little holes they attach to here and then you twist it and it locks it in and that's pretty much how you do it let me show you we're just gonna stuff the wire up through here into the junction box so once that's all done wires all stuffed through we're gonna go back below now you see that those screw heads now that i have them lined up all i gotta do is twist them and it locks everything in place and that's it then all i'm gonna do is put the cover light on and that's it now these are wired up or in place well we just gotta wire the top and that's a really easy process First thing we're gonna do is open up our little uh, fans. Fan wings, I guess you can call them. We're gonna attach, where are they? These things right here. There they are. Now, these are very specific and very difficult. I lied, it's very easy. <laughs> Just gotta pull these together. Quick one. Like that, and you're good. That is it. Let me get up there with you. Try to get in center. What it's attaching to is the fan support beam on top of the panel right now. There, and this should be good. Man. And then seat it properly, yeah? Yeah. Okay, you can do that at the end though. Yeah, I guess, huh? Now I'm gonna cut off the wires. Are Access. Cut, yep, excess wire. Oh, I have. Do you have any um the wire caps? Yeah. yeah you do. Came with them. Came with three. Nice. Strip all the wires. This wire caps nice. Here's the wire caps. Put them right here. Right here nice. And stuff all the wire up in that little canister and close it all off. Oh. All right. It is. So, so the blue wire in that fan, that's the actual light. Now on these ceiling fans, there's actually a reinforcement part that comes with this patio cover kit. You have to have that, otherwise the ceiling fan won't hang from these roofs. So the nice thing about the LED lighting is that very few watts it's going to draw. On the end of all these beams, there's a nice decorative cover that's going to be on those. So, so you won't see that they're hollow. Alright, the side rafter is going on right now. One thing I did want to show you guys is really important is you cock the shit out of your gutter before you put the side plate on because you do not want water leaking out through your side plate or your side uh, rafter and then we're gonna stuff some foam in there as well and that will just seal the deal right one yep right there oh yeah that is gorgeous cock a little bit more <clears throat> no problems now.
here it is all done got the recessed lights nice scallop rafter tails two fans got dimble switch x outlet on the bottom it was a nice little build graphite color white panels very clean Also, you can see the concrete work that we did here about three weeks ago. Yeah, it turned out real good. Since it was like about three weeks later, concrete didn't have any cracks in it. So it worked out really nicely. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification for the next video coming up. Cutter. Have a good one. There it is. Let's line it up with our side plate. Bottom.